I always find that interesting. I'm wondering when you say it as an actress, do you kind of in the mind, in your back of your mind, go, "That's the title hey. of the movie." Is that kind of a strange thing? Oh, when it's you do always it? the worst. Yeah. <laughs> really? Really? Yes. Hi, I'm Anna Kendrick here with my friend and co-star Blake Lively to invite you to the premiere of our new movie, A Simple Favor. Bulletproof, nothing to lose. Fire away, fire away. Um, well, I met Blake. I worked with um, her husband Ryan uh, several years ago, so I met Blake a few times through um, Ryan on that film. Got it. Um, and you know, and thought she seemed nice, and little did I know. Yeah. Look at the body language experts analyzing this right now. Uh, <laughs> How quickly do you... Don't How touch me. <laughs> I'm curious, when you guys were kids, did you have any type of cursing jar uh, when you were around like, as, as a kid? Did you ever have to like, put money in it at all? No? My parents cursed constantly. It was <laughs> awesome. That's great. Oh, yeah. No, my parents actually never cursed, so it was just like, it just was not an option really right. in our house. Like I told her yesterday, my mom called my dad a jackass, and I just like sobbed. I was like, the world is over. <laughs> There's some people, like I've had people who like, I don't necessarily like, we're not best buddies at all moments, but like, we're, do we do well together on screen? And there's some people that like, we're best buddies, and then on screen it's like, <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone's gonna feel really sexy after they see it. This movie's gonna get you laid. Can we make that the new tagline? Yeah, for sure. I feel like that's a really marketable angle. I think it is. This movie will get you laid. Yeah. Oh my god, we're gonna make like a billion dollars. <laughs> Um, oh. I mean, we're exactly the same type, so, yeah, I mean, I assume that Blake has lost many roles to my glamour, beauty, and elegance, uh, when, so, when you hear my, sorry about it, Blake. My singing voice, uh, you know, Anna, Oh, it was neck and neck, pitch perfect. If, if oh, I, into the if woods. If I last were to I, open my oh, cherry lungs, boy. she wouldn't have a career. <laughs> so, the sacrifices she's made for me. I really have. It. Oh, it's great! I like <laughs> love it when my it's just like it's so freeing because like Is she I think scandalized? my mom, my mom, well, my mom was an extra in a movie recently with me. What? And they were like the, the director was like, like kick your mom's chair and then and then Elaine tell her to like you know to just knock you know to, to stop, and it, everybody's sleeping on the bus and my mom turns around and goes. Knock it off, bitch! <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, you waited this your whole life for this moment. It was oh, like wow. the best. Have you both oh. been? Uh, have you both sorted yourselves? Yes. Yeah. On Pottermore. Yeah. Yes. And? Slytherin, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Wait, for Fucking real? obviously. I thought they just said Gryffindor every time. No. Oh, no. For sure <laughs> Slytherin. I feel so good like, about Like, just to make right you now. feel good, you're like, <laughs> they're like, it's Gryffindor. No. I mean, I'm wearing my Gryffindor colors. I was so being, I was being very honest in that quiz. Maybe and I was honest, like, yeah. I think I'm going to get Slytherin. And I totally did. <laughs> I get around Anna and I get like a little Pepe Le Pew, like boop, 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 like hearts start going out of my eyes because like they have a they have a similar sense of humor. I was like, very so close and to cutting. getting Deadpool. Oh, I was this close. Well, oh well, maybe next could time. replace him, Lady oh, Deadpool. Just this saying, guy. come on, oh, boy. come on, Twitter, clickbait is what that just was. And I take it you were Gryffindor, you're saying? Yeah, but like I did the lame one. I did the one at like Universal Backlot where they're like, make it, make it Gryffindor. She'll be happy. <laughs> It's just like she needs this. Yeah, she she really, I really did need it. Yeah. <laughs> Have I mean, you taken the Pottermore quiz? No. Oh, it's really fun. Really? Yeah, we're gonna do it later. Gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> you have said that Anna is like the the hotter female er version of your husband. So, what kind of Ryan like quality <laughs> does she possess? Um, drink a lot? Mostly in bed, I find. <laughs> um, can we say that? <laughs> I think you're supposed to put your hand this time. Who's I sort of to. want to be in Hufflepuff just because it's like, like it's just like cooler to be like, oh yeah, I'm a Hufflepuff. Like everyone <laughs> wants to be in like Gryffindor, right? Sure. Know. Okay, let's go. Ravenclaw. Like that's just the. <laughs> Who cares okay, about Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. <laughs> Take it easy, Hufflepuff. Uh, <laughs> but at least Hufflepuff, you're like, oh, I'm cute. Aww, Hufflepuff. Like it's like a funny thing to say. But Ravenclaw, you're like, Man. you're like, I gotta say you're like smart or something. Cool. Yeah, but like, but you're not like smart and brave. Yeah. <laughs> They make bonbons anymore. Like Nestle does, like the nibs. The the not real bonbons. You never had bonbons? No. Oh come on. Like... They're they're little ice cream balls, and then they're covered in dark chocolate. Oh. It's like those nibs, but those are not good. Bonbons were the best. Who's bigger, Disney? You've been a princess, of course. You've been Cinderella, <gasps> but I know Disney. I know of the two of us. <laughs> That's right. So that's, Jealous? <laughs> that has to be bragging rights, I would assume, but... Oh my gosh, I would literally, like, skin her body alive and step into it to be Cinderella. Wait, but I would that's need really her voice. hardcore. It's a problem. I would, like, need her voice. Your characters are very different from each other in the film. Do you share any similarities to your characters in real life? 
I sure hope not. I'm my character's same. a psychopath. Uh, my I don't want to be so like her. annoying. Yeah, she's the worst, <laughs> but she's so much fun. I can't be a Disney princess ever. <laughs> oh, Muffin, it's so, so hard sad. being you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I really would really like to be a Disney princess. I'm sure that dream will come true. I'm sure there's Because a dream a is a wish your heart makes. It actually, it can't come true. <laughs> Thank you, one person. <laughs> um, no. It Sorry a lot. Oh, we're not Canadian. No, <laughs> we don't use that that much. Does um, Ryan? Um, uh, yeah. I mean, he's he's he says sorry. Of course, he's not a monster. But no, it's not like that overly apologetic Canadian thing that happens. Um, but you can't be a princess at the park if you're old for 27 years old. Oh, Which is really interesting. Why did they the, kick you out the once? The statistic I heard question? was that you can't be a Disney princess if you're like over five feet tall, basically, because they want you to be small for the kitties. Oh. So like all the tall girls. So I give you like Pluto. It's the one there. thing that I. Oh. <laughs> Aww. Blake, I know you posted on Instagram that um, Anna is the hotter female version of Ryan. Female or? Well, I think it's my eyes time and have. my boobs and my knees. <laughs> and my toenails. Yeah. Toenails. Yeah. Toenails. Oh, yeah. goodness. Those um, are my best qualities. Eyes, boobs, knees, toenails. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows it. Because I went to Disney jail when I was a kid, and then I talked about it on Letterman. And then, um, and then like, when I went to come back, they were like, yeah. We Why'd you mention it on Letterman? <gasps> <gasps> yeah, I was like, really? What? Like, they didn't want you to admit that Disney jail existed? Yeah. Ooh. I know, so now I'm gonna get uninvited again. I'm so obsessed oh. with Disneyland. I love you so much. I'm sorry I tell all your deep, deep dark secrets. <laughs> Everybody knows about Disney Jail. They, they have a, a similar um, sense of humor, and they also both make everyone that they're around better at what they do. Like they're just because you you you, you 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 sink or swim, and it's true. You guys are both so good that people just like get on their A game. She compliments me all the time I in know. public and on Who TV. Love that? Oh my god, that's the way to my heart. I'm a very <laughs> selfish person. Wait, but by the way, you've been like, oh, I think you're the bigger Potter fan. I think you're the bigger Disney fan. Oh. I think you're the bigger. So like, what? What about me over here? You, you can present your own. Present, like, don't present. Right. So, <laughs> I'm the best at everything. So What's your Jeopardy okay, category? Fine. What's I'll your... just sing a quick Cinderella song. <laughs> you also got to work with everyone's newest crush, Henry Golding. He doesn't even wear socks with his loafers. I know. Because I remember meeting um, Henry and being like, your face is so symmetrical, you're going to be mean. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Attractive people don't have to be nice to get along in the world, so I just assume. And then he was just like the sweetest, most charming person. Enter now, and we'll see you soon.